Welcome in the next section, MySQL Server. In this section, we'll be installing the MySQL Server using the available resources in Always Free Tier. In the previous video, we're building up VCN, Virtual Cloud Network. We're creating the public subnet and private subnet. We add the app one and app two in public subnet, we're creating the data folder, we set the communication between the app1 and app2 to get data from data folder, and we had the load balancer which sends the traffic to app1, app2. That we're creating our network layer, our application layer. Now we need to creating the database server which will provide the data for the web application. As database is critical part of the network, you want to keep the database server in the private subnet. Ensure the restriction and access to that database server is limited to minimum and only to required uh, resources like application server should access only the MySQL server over the database port. The default port for MySQL is 3306. We'll be using in this exercise, we'll be using the default ports. Now, but I want to point to a little bit limitation of the always free uh, tier and trial period. With this model, this model where you have a public subnet and then private subnet, you have a separation of the uh, role and uh, you have a restriction how you can communicate. You cannot communicate directly to the private, uh, to the MySQL server from the public network. But now your MySQL server can go outside to get an update using the NAT gateway and service gateway. After trial period, after trial period, the NAT gateway and service gateway will be removed from your network structure. In that case, the resources which are in the private subnet will lose communication to outside. There is the, of course, the way to overcome and creating the proxy server and push that outgoing traffic through proxy server on app one. Uh, this uh, will be covered in the uh, upcoming uh, trainings. There is more advanced uh, training which will tell you how to configure the proxy server. But to make this exercise simple, and easy for you that you can create that network and you can have your application server, database server, and have that security for your purpose. We're going to install the MySQL server in public network, but we're going to restrict the traffic to inside network. Okay. That Right now, each server will have the public IP. This way, each server can communicate outside with Internet Gateway, so the true Internet Gateway. And you can communicate to the server, to each server, over the SSH port, uh, even over the 3306, or we're going to customize uh, our port, the public port. I will show you how that will customize this. We're going to set up the restriction to our incoming network, the same way how we set up the restriction to uh, application server. We customize our SSH port and we restrict the communication from your network. The same we will do for MySQL server. Okay. Now summarize this one more time for this training, which is concentrating on using the always free tier, which is 
resources which are available after the trial period ends, that means the resources and network structure which you can build now and continue using it later on as well. For that purpose, we will build our network using only the public subnet and every server will have the public IP that we can connect to that server over SSH port, over the MySQL port, but we will restrict this connection only to your network, okay? Only to your IP. I will show you how to do this. And if you have the VPN service, this way you can restrict this even more because usually VPN service is coming with the dedicated IP if you purchase or it's coming with the range of the IP in class C. Okay. I'm referring to VPN which I'm using, Winscribe, that I have multiple different uh, options to connect through Winscribe VPN that option will give me the class C IP address. Every time when I'm connect, I will have different end number, but my first three octans will stay the same, that three octans are the same, only last fourth octan will change in IP address. All right? But now, this way I can restrict my connection only to class C network and I know only through that VPN, through that service, I can connect to my servers. If you want, you can purchase dedicated IP. This way you have connection to your servers, to your network from that dedicated IP. Okay, we talked about this little bit in the previous videos where we setting up the app one. We will go through this one more time uh, later during this session as we will be working on updating security list for MySQL. And I know the security and allow the traffic is hard topic. I will spend extra time that you can understand how you can protect your network. Let's go to build our server.